We're going to begin today's cross-country tour in Washington, D.C. with an athlete who's making a name for himself in two sports. That's this week's five-star feature. You'll be hard-pressed to find a better athlete in the 2023 class than Nicholas Harbour of Archbishop Carroll High School. Sure, he's a five-star prospect in football, but it's his videos from running track that made him an internet sensation. Here comes Nicholas Harbour. To the line they go, and it is Harbour. At six feet, six inches tall and 225 pounds, it's easy to pick him out in a group of sprinters. But it's not just that he's tall and running track. It's the fact that he often blows away the competition. It's, it's comedy. It's, that's the comic part of it all, you know, when they see him the first time. Most of the times, a lot of people haven't seen him run yet. And they, they're looking at him like, I wonder, can this big kid really run? All the kids there was like, oh, he's an adult. He can't be <laughs> a junior. I just laughed. I don't really like to act different since I'm getting a lot more attention than everybody else because my videos are go by. But that's just not me as a person. You know, I like to stay very low key, you know, laid back. You know, just working it, working towards my goal. You know, you see me run 10-2, that's just a stepping stone to where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to break 10 now. If I break 10, then my 10-2 videos are going viral. I don't even want to see what that's going to even do. His best time in the 100-meter dash is 10.21. Hearing him say he wants to break 10 may sound lofty, but don't discount his work ethic. He's a very large kid. He's, you know, 6'5 and a half. I think he's 6'6. Six, six. But he's also a very muscular kid. But at that size, coming, going that fast in a short distance, it's harder for you because you have a lot more mass to move. But he has that quickness thing that usually people that size don't have. So getting faster, even though it's still hard, incrementally harder, it's coming. It's coming. You can see it in practice. Okay, we're about to change go to another place. I believe it's achievable. You know, I want to become the first um, American to break 10 in high school. I love it. I love it. I feed off the crowd. I feed off the energy. You know, the energy's up there. I'm up there. You know, I, I, I want to get the crowd hype. I want everybody to enjoy it. You know, I'm, I'm a show man. That's why I like to say it. Because, you know, I'm always putting on for the crowd. I'm always putting on for the people because they came, they came to watch me. While his track videos are making him famous, his football videos are pretty impressive too. He can line up at wide receiver or tight end, but most college coaches like his potential as an edge rusher. I feel faster than everybody else, but i say one thing. Track speed and football speed are two different things. Now, I can outrun you. Now, you give me a step. Now, I'm I'm a, I'm a beat you, but if I can't get that quickness, then I'm definitely not going down the first tackle. You know, I just play physical, play physical and fast, and that's, that's what you really got to do in this sport. I think he can be whatever he wants to. I, I've talked to several college coaches, and. Some teams even have at least six coaches vying for his time in their room. Nicholas comes from a soccer family. His father played professionally in both Nigeria and the United States, and he has two older brothers who are currently pursuing soccer careers in England. While Nick tried soccer for a while, he just enjoyed football and track a whole lot more, and they've both opened up a lot of doors for him. His family's been more than supportive, encouraging him to push himself athletically while also staying focused in the classroom. I'm blessed to have him. Dad, mom, grandmother, coaches, brothers, sisters, just everybody that I've called my family. Just thank you for helping me and pushing me to strive for greatness because they see something in me that they've never seen before and they want me to put that to my fullest accomplishment. So by them believing in me, then I believe in myself and we take that to a different level. Well, he's a larger than life personality, but he's humble. That's the kind of personality he has. It's big, but in the moments, it can get a little small. It's one-on-one -on -one or it's to the world. That's kind of what you got with Nick. He already has three Washington, D.C. Gatorade Player of the Year awards, one in football and two in track. And there's a good chance more hardware is on the way as he enters his senior year. And I feel like I'm the best player in D.C. I feel like I'm the best player in the country at this point. Cause you know, I'm getting to that status where I feel like nobody can stop me, and I, we, we can see that any day, any time, like, any time of the year, I'm not going back down for nobody, but especially in this area, I feel like I made my mark on that. As he focuses on bringing more championships to Archbishop Carroll, fans across the country are eagerly anticipating his college decision. He says the academic, football, and track programs are all important considerations as he narrows it down. What I want in school is a meaningful education. That's number one. And then number two is sports, because sports can take care of itself. But you know, if you don't got something up here, then you know, once sports is over, then what you gonna do? I, that's how I like to see it. 
Nick may have to focus on just one sport eventually, but then again, he might not. He has his eyes on long-term greatness in both sports. Long-term dreams in sports, you know, definitely making Olympics, um, winning a gold medal, or at least winning a medal in the Olympics. If I take football serious, then uh, that gold jacket, that gold jacket really stamps it all. You know, MV, you can have an MVP, a Super Bowl ring, but to be able to be honored as one of the greatest football players to ever live and to ever play this game, then that's the best thing ever. Could you imagine that? Both a gold medal and a gold jacket? Oh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, his future is, you know, is wide open. Uh, he has a lot of lofty goals, and one of the things that uh, our, we as coaches try to do is help him manage all of his expectations, but does he have those potentials? Absolutely. I'm going to hate to see him go, <laughs> but he has to. You know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing his accomplishments down the road, but I've seen other coaches say once in a lifetime player. I, I think this is one of those kids. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.